What's going on everybody? It's Titan Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Before we get into the video, I need a couple things from you. I need you guys to hit the like button. Also leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on the video today and the sneaker we're about to look at. Do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already now today we're taking a look at a sneaker uh it's kind of an early review i believe this sneaker is set to come out at the end of the month of january and we all know that january is normally a slow month with the jordan releases but we did have a couple of things on the calendar that i had my eye on and I wanted to take a look at these in hand because they reminded me of another sneaker. We're going to get into that a little later as I show you guys the box. If you've been paying attention to social media, you probably have seen this box several times. Uh, on top of the box, you have a 75-25% ratio of solid, uh, like a sale colorway, and you have a elephant print I'm sorry 25% of elephant print right here and something different we have the Nike Air logo and the Jumpman logo all in the same space and here's a look at the size and tag this is a size 12 for my boy this is not for the torso there will be no arm feet for this uh sneaker at the moment uh and the name of it is the air jordan 3 retro craft and the color is ivory gray mist and cream like i said earlier it's a size 12 i believe these will be retailing for 210 dollars if you look underneath the box you will see that on your box if you get it early pairs as i show you the fold over box lid you have a lot stamp and a little factory stamp right there in the red writing as i show you the paper you have that elephant print on one side it's sewed and you know it's solid white on the other side and we do have a ycm sticker in here right there and there are no extra goodies with this sneaker so let's get into the review here we go guys we have the air jordan retro 3 craft ivory let me know your thoughts on this sneaker as i show it to you what's your thoughts leave that in the comment section we're gonna jump right into it this sneaker is made on an all white base we have a nice grain of leather nice soft to the touch leather you do have a gray hit of new bug right here and you have a uh, cream color molded eyelets right here you have the silver mist color molded eyelets right there and you have that appears to be a cream color molded eyelet up top as well and a little different the uh cement at the heel and the toe they double it up you got the leather elephant right here on top with a new buck underneath on the heel and toe as well that's different for this sneaker uh, you do have a white polyutherane midsole with a hit of cream right here. You have a visible air unit, clear bubble with the white inside. And you have a semi-translucent hit right here at the very bottom of the midsole as it leads to the outsole. You have a semi-translucent cream looking uh, outsole. You have gray hits or gray mist hits I should say right here and the word jordan is in that color you have white right there and something else different on the heel you have nike air and the jordan jumpman on the back heel of the sneaker this is the first time not sure what the inspiration was for this but i kind of like it the uh nike is underneath and you have the jumpman and air is written on top of the back heel uh, tab and you get a closer look at that elephant print on the heel because it's a leather material and you do have new buck right underneath there 
uh, spinning it around to the medial side of the sneaker. You have more of that good tumble leather, good, nice leather that is soft to the touch with the molded eyelet right here in the cream material and right here as well and you do have the molded eyelets and the silver mist colorway uh you do have a hit of that uh silver or gray new buck right here you do have that same uh white polyutherane midsole with a hit of cream that goes from here around to the other side visible air unit clear bubble white inside with the hit of that semi-translucent material there at the very bottom which leads us to the toe of the sneaker give you a closer look at that toe nice grain of leather like i mentioned earlier and that uh elephant print there you go leather right here new bug there leather right there uh and it did come stuffed with tissue and you do have your widow's peaks going on one here one there comes with white flat laces these are the only laces these come with you have a leather tongue and to the top of the tongue you have two jordan jump mans you have an embossed one in the uh cream color and you have an embroidered one in the silver color right there you got the high color in the leather to where you cannot see the material on the back of the tongue Here's a look at that sizing tag, which is on the back of the tongue right there. And it is a size 12, like I said earlier. And the production date is July 19th to September 26th of 2023. So about three months of production with these. You do have a silver mist sock liner. The material is a cotton feeling material, soft cotton material and here's a look at the insert the inserts that silver mist color you have your men's sticker size 12 and a jordan jump man in the white colorway and this is another dream cell production with the outsole so uh when i was saying this sneaker kind of reminded me of something i wanted to see it compared to this sneaker right here the I'm on Monero Jordan 3's which came out in 2021 and it kind of resembled it a lot to me. Both of them had really good leather. You got suede going on the sides with the uh, molded eyelets. But the only difference is you got leather around here and uh, quilted inside. But uh, it definitely kind of reminds me of this uh, I'm on Monero but uh it doesn't mess up though but uh it seems to be a cool sneaker uh the release date is at the end of the month like i said but let me know your thoughts on the sneaker and your plans for that day and i'm gonna go ahead and end this video like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know well it would be your turn to need help getting the sneaker i'm titanic feet jack signing out